Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the door gasket on your refrigerator, and it's a really easy job. On this model, all we're going to need is a quarter inch and a 5 16 inch nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, as soon as you receive your gasket, you may want to take it out of its packaging and inspect it for any signs of any damage, and it will typically be twisted, so you'll want to lay it on a flat surface. If you have the opportunity, set it out in the sun, or put it in a hot tub of water, or maybe even tumble it in your dryer for a couple of moments. And then lay it flat on a surface so that it will take a nice square shape. Now next, we'll start by opening the refrigerator door and turning the control to off. We will need to remove the refrigerator door to do that repair, so that also means taking the freezer door off as well. So we'll start with the top hinge, remove three 5 16 screws that secure the hinge to the cabinet, then just lift that top hinge up and out of the way, tilt the door forward, make sure that there's nothing on the inside shelves, then lift it off and set it aside. Now next we'll remove the outer screw on the center door hinge and we'll loosen the middle one. Now, if you're unable to get a nut driver on that back screw, take a 5 16 wrench or a small adjustable and loosen that screw. Now, if you are unable to get a nut driver square on that center screw, take a 5 16 wrench and remove it that way or a socket and ratchet. One side of that hinge will have a slotted opening and the other is a closed opening. So take the screw or bolt out of the closed opening and just pull it away from the open side, lift and remove the hinge. We can now take the refrigerator door and we're going to set that on a suitable work surface so that we can change the gasket. So we'll just tilt it away from the cabinet, lift straight up on it and remove it. Now depending on the model of refrigerator that you have, the gasket may be attached to the door in one of two manners. This particular model uses a metal strap held in place with quarter inch hex head screws that sits down on the edge of the gasket to hold it to the outer door panel. Some models will take the gasket and put it in between the inner door panel and the outer door panel and foam it in place. If that's the type of model you have, there are instructions that are included with the gasket that will explain how to remove the old gasket by starting in a long portion along one side, pulling the middle out, cutting the gasket, and then carefully peeling it away from the bottom of that inner door panel. You'll also clean out the excess foam uh, carefully and then reinstall the gasket that way. This particular model uses the metal strap, the screws, so we're just going to loosen all of those screws, pull the gasket out from underneath of it, and then reinstall the new one. Now once we have all of the screws loosened, we can then take that gasket and just peel it out from underneath those metal straps. And then we'll discard the old gasket. Now it's a good opportunity to clean that surface before we install the new gasket because there may be some food spills in that area. So clean that up and then we'll put the new gasket on. Now that we've got that surface cleaned up, we're just going to lay that gasket on the door panel. And what we'll try to do is get the corners hooked into those metal straps first. Those straps have a, a hollowed out portion that will grip this rigid piece of black plastic that is on the back side of that gasket. So we're going to tuck that in underneath that metal trim. And we'll start with the corners, because they will be the most difficult to do if we leave it to the, to the last. Now this is the spine that we're trying to get underneath that ridge on that metal strap. So we need to 
keep tucking it. At the same time, we're trying to lift that up enough that it will slide underneath it. In some cases, you may need to take a flat blade screwdriver and just lift that edge enough so we can get it under there. Just use caution so we don't want to tear that gasket. And as we get it fed into that little channel, just snug those screws up a little bit. And once you have one of the corners started, just work it out uh, about six or eight inches on each side, and then just snug those screws up, not tight, but just enough to hold that and popping back out. And then move on to another corner. We're just finishing up tightening those screws. We need to make sure that that gasket lays flush with the outer door panel and is nice and square in the corners. And once we have those all tightened up, we can then go ahead and put the door back on the refrigerator. Just carefully set that door down on the bottom hinge. Make sure it's fully inserted. Swing it into position. We'll take our center hinge, pivot that forked end into the mounting screw. Install the second one. Now, although there is not much adjustment on that center hinge, we want to try to keep that door flush with the side of the cabinet on the hinge side. And we'll tighten that second mounting bolt. And then we'll put the freezer door on. Okay, we'll line up the hole in the bottom of the door with the center hinge, pivot it into position. And we'll swing that top hinge in, set the pin in the hole and install the remaining two screws. And we'll thread these screws all the way in without tightening them. And then we can adjust that freezer door to match the refrigerator door. So what we look for is the equal gap from left to right on that freezer door. In this case, we need to lift that up some. And while holding it in place, we'll tighten the screws. Check that and snug them up. We're now ready to turn the refrigerator back on. We'll reload the shelves on the doors and our repair is complete.